Hey, hey, good people. How you doing? David Taub here, nextlevelguitar.com. Hope you're well. Hope your guitar journeys are going famously. Feeling a little mellow today. We're going a little different direction. Going to do a little uh, arpeggio lesson and show you a real jazzy sounding major seventh arpeggio. This arpeggio is movable. It's going to have a fifth string root, so you'll be able to play this anywhere by putting your first finger on the root note on the fifth string. It's a great sounding little arpeggio that you definitely want to add to your repertoire to your arsenal of destruction. It's a great sounding arpeggio, I really love it. Um, love major seventh chords, they're just so rich and jazzy sounding. And I'm gonna show it to you in the key of E flat. And I have some other lessons on YouTube that you're gonna wanna check out where I'm exploring um, different jazzy progressions like the 251, 2516 rhythmically teaching you about the progressions and about comping or substituting chords with some different chord shapes and now we're getting into some lead guitar work that you can play over each chord or over the whole progression and this is a great arpeggio that you can use over uh, some of the chords in that progression so this has a lot of practical use and it's great to have a good repertoire of arpeggios that you can kind of whip out in your uh, playing. Now this is a major seventh arpeggio, so the intervals are going to be root or one, third, fifth, and major seventh. Okay, we're going to be playing it in the key of E flat, but this is movable to any key. So obviously your one is your E flat, your major third, which is a little bit of a stretch, and I'll show you this arpeggio up close. It's going to be your G note, and then you're going to have your fifth which if you're in the key of E flat, your fifth is gonna be B flat. And then you're gonna have your D note. And that's the important major seventh note. If you, if you really hear that interplay between that note and the root note, your, your seventh or major seventh is always a half a step away from the root. That's critical. And I'll show you why when I start to fool around with that arpeggio. So that yeah. major seventh is always that half step below the root note, no matter where you are. And if you'd like a free video lesson that's not on YouTube, got some really cool scales diagrammed out in that one, um, click on the link below this video in the text box there, and I'll send you a free video lesson and a coinciding ebook, all for free from nextlevelguitar.com. Just click on that link and we'll send it to you. I'm here at the um, sixth fret. And that's where we're going to start this major seventh arpeggio off of the A string root. Okay, now, um, major seven arpeggio, root, third, fifth, major seventh. I'm playing it in E flat, because that's an E flat note. This is movable, so if you want to play this arpeggio in C, just put your first finger on the C note and play the, the intervals, the shape. If you want to play it in D, put it at the fifth fret. So this is movable. Movable arpeggio. Here's the way it looks, uh, and I'll tab it out for you, and I'll play it slow. Isn't that a nice arpeggio? It's you have the root, third, fifth, major seventh. That's that important note, that D note. And then we have our root again. There's our E flat, third, fifth, major seventh. Right? There's that that uh, D note. And there's our root, E flat. A lot of guys won't play that. They'll play it like this. But I like the sound of the, it's right there. You might as well grab that E flat notes. Makes it a three octave arpeggio. Here it is again. Here's a little faster. So take it nice and slow at first. And try just kind of messing around with those notes and finding, let your ear guide you and see what you find as a cool little lick. Remember, though, that major seventh is that real, real strong tone. And you got, it's always one half step below the root. So whenever you know you're on that root note, you always got that major seventh right there. Right, really cool. down and practice this arpeggio and remember 
kind of mix this arpeggio up in with once you get it down mix it up with the some of scales and some licks and like some hammer-ons and pull-offs like i was doing because you know good arpeggio playing you just don't play arpeggio straight up and straight back ne not necessarily much like how you wouldn't play a scale straight up and straight back like if i was to play the e flat major scale during a jam i probably wouldn't do this <laughs> Right? Because it sounds too stiff. It sounds just like a scale, right? So much like your licks, are, the scale is the building blocks for your licks. The arpeggio, again, is a building block um, where you can outline chord shapes playing the notes of the chord. That's all arpeggio is, notes of a chord played separately, right? And you could outline those chords and make some big solo statements, mix it in, phrase it with your licks. That's good arpeggio playing, mixing it up with your licks and your scales and coming up with cool ideas and attaching it. Check out some of my other lessons in this series, right? You'll learn some more things that you can play over the progression, some more arpeggios and scales and modes and ways to play over each chord and um, as well as um, solo with what relates to all. I'm David Taub, co-creator of nextlevelguitar.com. Be sure to go to our website, nextlevelguitar.com. We'll have over a thousand lessons, video lessons, written lessons, um, jam tracks, chord library. It's absolutely packed, comprehensive, structured plan to get your playing to the next level. Have a free pass on the homepage, uh, three free days so you can give the site a good test drive. Check it out. You might like it. It's nextlevelguitar.com. I'm David Taub. You're the good people. We'll see you in the next lesson. Stay positive. Keep on rocking.